Well, here we are again on After Effects. Our rendering is now complete. And I double click in the Media Imports window and now go get the render of my compositing. I select the P10. I also take the P20 again by double clicking and the P30 by double clicking once again in the Media Import. I double click on the image sequences and it imports them. I'm going to select all three of them and drag them into a new composition. I'm not changing the duration. I am putting zero in the overlap sequence setting to make sure all my shots are displayed as a staircase on my timeline. I'm going to preview them for the first time by pressing zero key on the numeric keypad. I can witness the green line as the preview going. Then I can begin the edit. preview of my shots is finished, I'll put them back in the right order, and for that I'm going to start with the P30. We're going to keep the P10 in second position. And I'm holding shift to snap the shots, and we'll take the P20 in last position. I can now do right click, time, enable time remapping on the shot. I'm going to speed up the beginning of the shot and then leave it a, the right speed and speed it up again at the end to create a more powerful transition with the next shot. So for that, I have to go here to about frame 120. One to sunny. I'm going to insert a key. Then I hold shift and page up two or three times. Insert a key. I am going at the start of the shot and I shift all my keys from the time remapping and here page down once to offset by 10 frames and compress the 30 frames of the end into 10 frames only. I'm shortening my shot to match the animation's actual duration. I select the second key and select ease in in keyframe interpolation. I select the third key and add ease out. And if I click on the time remap and I show the curves, I should have little handles that pop up. Press zero to see the preview. And here I'm pressing N to mark the end of my timeline just to see it looping. So we've got this acceleration at the beginning and the end for the transition. On the second shot, we can do more or less the same thing. So we're going to do right click, time, enable time remapping. I'm going a few images further directly. Put down a key. I'm going back to the beginning of the shot. I shift 10 frames. I take all the remaining keys. I bring them back. I right click on the keyframe that we created. Ease in. I can now access the Bezier handles that were here. I'll pull towards the start key to see the transition. I'll go to the end of the shot. Once again, connect it and fetch the very last shot behind. Take a look. We play the whole thing. I press zero to do the preview. I believe we can shorten the second shot to maintain continuity of development. I'm bringing back the last shot. We can also lay out in steps for better readability. I press N to mark the end of my timeline and right-click Trim Comp to Work Area. Control S. I do zero again. And maybe we'll be able to do a final cut with that shot by speeding it up as well. We'll go back a few frames. I put down a keyframe, go 20 frames further and bring back the ending keyframes. About here. Maybe a little more. I right click on the penultimate key. Ease out. 
I'm taking the handle and I'm going to drag it a little bit more. Here the same. So I bring this keyframe closer. And this shot, in fact, we're not going to start it at the very beginning. We're going to start it a little bit further. Let's see if it connects well. I press B to put the beginning of the shot. And that's not too bad. We're good to send it to export, so once again I'm setting the in and out of the timeline. Right click, trim comp to work area, and this time I'm going to rename my composition with Ctrl K. I'm calling it NVIDIA Tutorial for instance. I am also using Ctrl K to adjust the format. I set it to 1920 by 1080. I crop my shots by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt G or right click transform to fit to comp height. And I am now ready to use the render panel. Select the composition, add to render queue. Now I see that my full video has been added to the render queue. I need to choose an output module. Set an output path and I click render. 